Bethany Bryan here with you today to show you a fun little tutorial for creating pinwheel flowers. Let's get started. Start by trimming a piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper to roughly two inches, which is what I have here. You could also trim your paper a little bit um, shorter if you would like, maybe one or one and a half inch. That'll just give you a smaller flower. So this this is a pretty good size pinwheel flower here. After you trim your paper, um, you're going to trim two papers. You're going to score your paper every half an inch. This will give you a pretty tight fold when you fold up your paper and that'll keep the folds of your pinwheel flower close together. So score your paper every half of an inch and then repeat and do the same thing with your other paper. Once you're done, you just want to take your paper and fold it together, as you can see me folding it together there, accordion style. And then you will have two papers that are the exact same. There you go. Now take your paper and you're going to want to join these to form a circle. So you're going to want to use a little bit of adhesive on either end. and adhere them together to form a circle. I used a little bit of um, a tape runner here, but I did end up going back and adding a dab of hot glue after it was all finished um, to make sure they really stay together. So when you're adding the two ends together, you just want to make sure that you are staying with the fold, that you're not adding it in the opposite direction where it would be folded out rather than in. So you just join them together to form a circle. And now it's the fun part. Once they're together, you're just gonna grab something to act as a base on the back and then press from the sides in and they're going to come together and form a cute little pinwheel flower. Now I'm gonna use hot glue on the back um, of my base to make sure it really stays together. The flowers, as you can see, are pretty large and pretty springy. So if you don't have a good adhesive holding them together, they will pop right off of your card. So in this case, I'm gonna use um, hot glue and make sure my flower's all together. And once you have it in that pinwheel shape, grab it and place it over your hot glue or really strong adhesive on your disc and press down for maybe 10 seconds or so just to make sure that that hot glue starts to dry a little bit and holds your shape together. So there you can see the back. And here is a smaller size. This one was the one and a half inch trimmed piece of paper. For the middle, you'll just grab a few circle embellishments or flare. Here I have some of the Maggie Holmes style board flare. I'm just gonna pop that right there in the hole in the middle. And then for the larger circle, I think I'm gonna use this bird die cut sticker to go along with my pattern paper. Just a quick note, I did end up adding a little bit of hot glue underneath the centers to make sure that they stayed in place once they were up. I added these to my identity board, which you can see more of on the Crate Paper blog. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this fun little tutorial.